All right, what's poppin', everyone? Welcome to a brand new video. It's your boy Ego, and today I want to talk to you guys about what's going on currently on global side of Seven Deadly Sins. Now, I already made a video talking about you know my 150k CC global team. You guys can see it right there to, at the bottom right corner of the screen. That's the video that I dropped. If you haven't checked it out yet, yeah, go and check it out. Um, I basically can talk about how I got to 150k and what's the fastest way to get there. Um, I did leave out a few things and a few things were that the blue crystals and how to get them and how to basically awaken your SSR gears etc etc so for the new people I'm pretty sure you don't know majority of these things but for the veterans I'm pretty sure y'all y'all already know what y'all doing but aside from all of that for the new players right um, the thing to do right now is to grind out these boss raids now when I'm talking about boss raids when you go to your you know your SP missions underneath the SP missions you'll see boss right and you'll see nothing you'll see six different levels of the boss raids now I'm doing level two because I find it easy especially because it's just I think this one's the gold gift oh, and you oh, and you can also like grind out a bunch of chalices so I've used a lot of freaking uh, SP potions but that's because I have been grinding since reset of the game and i've already grinded a, what one two was that like six twelve fourteen um ssr mat ssr gears and i have a bunch of others like all this stuff is going to be sold um and then i got seven of the demon's blood and then eight water of life so that's cool man that's cool i, I mean you can grind up and you get a bunch of uh materials as you go to awaken your units to star them up um, etc etc and honestly this is like the best method right now because the fact of it it's half stam so instead of paying 20 you're paying 10 just to run the mission so I'm gonna go real quick and show you guys what I'm exactly talking about I'm gonna show you my gear and how I'm re-rolling them I'm already starting on the right side of my gears I already said that again on my last video so go check out that video for more in depth but I'm just gonna talk mainly about what's going on um, with the crystals and how to get them in the chalice runs and how this half CC right now half CC half stam right now for these missions are very crucial and you guys should grind them immediately and I've reached rank 64 I've been grinding this game non-stop left this thing autoing on its own all right so basically let me just go and collect my achievement and then I'll show you what I'm talking about Ooh, rank 64 give me those four gems thank you and I'm almost to getting this 25 beautiful beautiful all right so first things first grab that all right first things first um, no this is not the first thing first thing is to go to you know your heroes all right I want to show you guys what I'm talking about first um, I'm gonna go to my set team yeah I increased my CC a little bit um, so if I were to look at my Merlin, look at my Merlin's gear. No, actually, you know what? Hmm. Let me look at my Blue Meliodas because he is a Link unit. He's not on my. He's not my main four. He is a Link unit, and his equipment. Like I said, I'm working on gear on the right hand side, um, and they're terrible. They're abysmal. Okay, Go, don't get me wrong. I'm right now. I'm just awakening them, getting them to plus five, and then once I start actually grinding out anvils and after I summon for Escanor then I'll probably do some re-rolling but right now I'm I'm, con I'm content with what I have for Meliodas especially because he's just a link unit on the right hand side but if I were to show you um, one of the better units that I have for example I'll show you Merlin's gear Merlin's gear is on a whole different level um, like they're grinded to decent rolls all right they're plus three and and they're all above two percent like this is not the best rolls that i can have like i could legit go and re-roll the 2.1s for a 2.5 and beyond but i'm not really going to do that right now especially because the game again is still brand new and i'm not i'm not diving you know balls deep into re-rolling my stats on my units right now maybe later on in the game once we got the the training cave i think that's what, i forgot what it's called whatever the, the cave is that's coming once that drops we'll get to be able to grind out anvils we get to grind out these crystals we get to grind out a lot of materials chalices etc etc right um so yeah so 
again, when it comes to grinding out your stats and your SSR materials, you know what, let me not go there. So I already showed you my SSR materials that I already have on my units. Now let me go over here into my actual storage and I'm going to show you guys some of the equipment that I already got starred up. So I have a lot of equipment that are already starred up and then I go down because I'm going to show you what I want to sell. I have these, okay? So I have a bunch of SSR materials that are... Some of them are being used, some of them are placed on my units, but that's because, you know, the link units, they need to have SSR materials, and again, I am working on SSR materials on the right-hand side for the main four units right now, so I showed you that, right? I already showed you that. So, the best thing, go to your, go, go to your equipment, you go, no, go to your team, click on a random character, for example, I'm just going to click on Jillian, click Jillian, right? I go to Jillian, I go to equipment, she doesn't have anything, so that's perfect. What I could do, right, is... Uh, okay, so what I could do is, knowing that I have so many of unused SSR gears, right, I can click here, click enhance, enhance it one time, okay? Enhance it one time. Now, the reason why you want to enhance it one time is because... If you enhance once, you have a higher chance of getting better materials, alright? Um, speaking of which, like, if you... So, let me use the ones that are weaker, right? This is 2121. If you go up, this one is 2860. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell the weaker ones. You can enhance every single one of your gear, like SR, SSR, alright? So, SR... You have a chance of getting the four star, um, the four star crystals and the three star crystals if you enhance them. Uh, for the for the SSR, right? You got a chance of getting the five star. So that really does increase your chances of getting a better, a uh, better chance of getting what you need. And on top of all of that, you're gonna get a lot of these bronze, uh, these bronze crystals the bronze rocks whatever you guys want to call them the enhanced crystals uh you'll get that back and you'll get plenty of it i have 1400 right now but that's because i i was rolling a lot on my units um i'm trying to get as many right side um gear done before escanor drops because i really want to have my ssr materials done and completed before Escanor and Escanor is next week so I've been really on this grind I don't know how many uh, how many uh, blue crystals I have exactly right now but again all these SSR materials that I have that I'm showing you I'm gonna sell them I, by sell them I mean salvage them okay uh, I don't need them because the ones that are already placed on my characters my teams my link units they are already like started on all right um, and they're locked but I might end up swapping some of them out depending on how I really feel. And if I have a better rolled uh, material, right, gear, like for example, that one that I showed you that I wasn't gonna, um, I wasn't gonna salvage. If I have a better, if that's a better roll gear compared to the ones that I have on my other units, I will swap them out. Now, one thing you should be looking at when you before you. Um, salvage these is if you have SSR materials on the right hand side or even on the left hand side if you're gonna salvage those right make sure you are looking at their 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 like level or rank or the number that is right here because if you have one that is higher than what is already placed on your unit swap it out and sell the one that you have that is lower all right because if you that that just because look if I go to change stats I have 2590 which is on a higher side of on this side of the um, the reroll, so if I wanted to reroll this, I would have a better better chance of not a better chance. I'd have like a better uh, number on the side there, just so y'all understand what I'm trying to say. Because the higher the number is, the better it is for you. Okay, so yeah, look 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 at the number right now, 2570, right? Enhance one, we enhance it one time. It went from 2570 to 2690 the number jumped all right so if you have a just a base stat just a base number of it just high already then you should definitely be using 
uh, you should bet you should definitely use that on your team okay um, now when it comes to the difficulty of running the boss missions it th there's no difference no actually I would say the easiest one to run would be the second or third one all right the second one is with Golgius it just has Jericho um, it has uh, it has weaker units that you would face um, and then the third one I think that one is who's the third one I don't remember the third one but yeah the second or third one those are the easiest ones the fourth one with um, Hauser he has a hit back and if he if you get if you're low on HP and he hits you back you're dead you're done for the fifth one is with Slater Slater, he freaking debuffs the life out of your team, okay? And then he hits you pretty hard, alright? So, just take that into consideration when you're gonna use, if you're going for that one. And then the last one, which is freaking Hendrickson, alright? Hendrickson is a freaking piece of shit, alright? He's difficult, he's difficult, alright? He's pretty hard to defeat, alright? So, I have all my SSR gears done and over with. Uh, I want to show you also the SR ones, so let me just, I'm not going to use the SR ones, so let me enhance these real quick, and then I'll show you guys what the difference is in the materials you would get, like the, 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 the things you would get back, crystals wise. Alright, so we got two done, I'm only going to do four, because usually what I do is to get a good roll, I'd probably sell three. I probably sell three at a time all right uh, the reason why I sell three at a time is because in my opinion the less you re-roll the higher chance you are of getting a better crystal or whatever the case is so since I'm gonna be going back into grinding more of those chalices and more of those how many I have 18 left I have, that's plenty and I'm gonna go and like roll continue on grinding the uh, the orbs I'm gonna just sell them out I really don't care alright so here's what we're going to look at mainly okay so first let's look at the SRs um, we're gonna sell four SRs alright and look at the numbers that we have already here so we have four five star crystals and 17 three star, four star crystals. no we have four four star and 17 three stars let's see what we would get here and if you want you can hold down here and she speeds up the process we got six we got six three stars, which is relative to one four star. All right. Now we're going to salvage SSRs. So I do three SSRs at a time. Okay. I do three SSRs at a time because I feel like it has a better roll chance of you getting. See, boom, you got one five star crystal right there. Six four stars. Six four stars is one five star. So. I don't know how many you guys would roll I would go with three because three will promise you a five star um, look at that, eight four stars so we got another five star right there so you know what let's try four let's try four if we have a chance of getting a five star on the roll Ooh, okay 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 four is the way to go hello See guys, this is this is it. This is re this is legit. It all right? Legit. This is it. Speed up. We got ten four stars this time, guys. Legit, man. This has to be the best method to use to grind out these crystals. And again, these crystals are really important for you to use. I uh, see we got only four on that one. And if you were to do three, you would get six or eight. It's it's. It's a it's a it's a gamble. It's a real gamble on what you would get um, based off of you know what you what you basically roll. You know what I'm saying? Um, so we're gonna do the last four. Oof. Oh man. All right. You know what? I'm gonna let it rock. I'm gonna leave it at that. But you guys basically get the gist of what I'm trying to say, right? If you were to, if you were to just enhance it one time, the SSRs. You can enhance the SRs, but I would say just enhance your SSRs. Um, oh, geez, man. Um, then you know you're basically good. You can use those crystals again to go and awaken your units. So your units is gear. So let's go to King. We go to King. We go to the blue crystals. You can enhance 30 of them, and I will get five SS five 
five star crystals just like that but I can't do it right now because I have to go sell some stuff alright so there you go guys I hope this method did help you guys if it did make sure you drop a like subscribe if you haven't already um, and I'll see you guys in the next video it's been your boy ego one love peace